<laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop that. Okay. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Nintendo Video Chat. We're playing Super Mario Kart today for the Super Nintendo, which was released 20 years ago to the day, if you're listening to this, this Saturday, September 1st, 2012. Nice. Rich and Audrey are going head-to-head -head in the battle of the century. They work together way too much. They have grudges. Yeah. They're battling it out. <laughs> so what we're seeing right now is battle mode, and uh, as you can see, it's it's tight. It's neck and neck. This, this was like... I don't know how many weekends of my life. This is Fran, by the way. Uh, like, me and my brother were just playing oh, this over yeah, and over and over that's again. that's how it's done. <laughs> and yet, like, if you haven't played Super Mario Kart, well, I think this you're crazy. This totally feels different than what you are used to if you play modern Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, but it still looks great. Like, I think, I mean, obviously the Mode 7's aged a lot and stuff like that. And Mode 7 is the is the, the graphical effect you're seeing of a big plane being rotated back and forth. Yeah, it looks like 3D, which, again, back then, this this technology, Mode 7, which was scaling sprites, um, made it look 3D, and it's, you know, it's not at all. The, the controls, though, are so different than you're used to. Like, it just does not have the handling that you're used to. Everybody is a little more floaty and kind of slidey. Than, yeah. It's know. really... So, so, Rich, please tell me you're playing as the princess. I am, yeah. He yeah. is, actually. I, I like Are the first you really? uh, Audrey throws a fit if I take Yoshi. That, that is true. Yeah, it's it's literally bad. just yeah. happened about five minutes ago. So why did you choose the princess then, Rich? Uh, princess has roughly equivalent handling and speed acceleration. Gotcha. He likes so, the princess, that's so why. So the characters Don't in this lie. game have not special powers per se, but they have weights and right. they have handling. All, all those like, like super special abilities that were like in Double Dash and a lot of the other materials, like all that stuff is just gone. It's not It's not in this game at all. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not gone, that was before. Yeah. Well, yeah, it hasn't right. been conceived. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah, it's gone. It was a twinkle in Miyamoto's eye. <laughs> what? Audrey, what were you doing with that red shell? Do you think it had magical <laughs> powers? You want to jump in here, backseat? By the way, it's really hard to, we always talk about how bad we are and it's hard to do a podcast in play, but <laughs> Uh, Especially, yeah. You're doing very good, Audrey. I'm oh, just right. Oh, thank you, friend. Coming from you, that means a lot. So, correct so me if I'm couple, wrong. Wait, 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 before you go on, Sam's there's, there's a couple people in this room I wanted to introduce because we have uh, Richard George and Audrey Drake on the controls right now, but then we're going to be switching off. We're going to do some round robin action. Hey, Audrey, and, you have um, to hit me with the turtle shell. Oh, <laughs> I don't see snap. you getting my balloons, Mr. One Balloon. And we have a special <laughs> special operator in the room today, Bob Feckity, who's a new editor here at IGN, and he's going to be uh, doing some races when we all need to be talking. So thanks for being here, Bob. Absolutely. And we also have Fran Mirabella the third. Uh oh, but Bob, say absolutely, yeah. Okay, absolutely. I, I had you on mute. I have to make sure I get my one word in. I got you. Oh my god. Oh, and the match yeah, is over. What was that, it's such a, it's nice such a job, I killed Audrey. myself. What was, what was that I attitude? Killed, huh? I killed myself Mr. with my own Mario banana. Kart extraordinary. So Rich, right, hand, huh? hand your controller over yeah. to Bob. Bob, take, let's keep the take action it back moving. Back to your desk. Right. Go crawling back to the what hole you guys came from, Richard George. What you guys didn't see was that I beat Audrey in the prior two races and the prior battle. Mode. Well, there's no proof sure, of that. Rich. Fran, sure. I didn't see that. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever you got to tell yourself to sleep at Bob, night. Bob, just play a race for an hour or something. <laughs> right. we'll, yeah. Play single player Terrible. for a second. Terrible. So, we'll be racing each other and battling a lot today. Um, in honor of the anniversary, happy birthday, Mario Kart. I can't believe it's to the day. Uh, by the way, I'm your host, Samuel Claiborne. I know that <laughs> introduction yeah. took a long time. We all recognized your voice, how, Sam. Right. How many years again? Sorry. Uh, 20, 20 years to the day this uh, Saturday in uh, in North America. I, it came out pretty much the same time in Europe and Japan, though, which is kind of interesting. That didn't really happen usually. It actually came out in Europe uh, later in January. But it came out on August 27th in Japan, so we just Crazy. missed the anniversary. Nice. Um, you know, in Japan... We, we, we talked about this last time. There's mm -hmm. funny games of games in Japan. In yeah. Japan, it's Super Mario Kato. Ah. Pretty close. It's, it's very Pretty close. different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I wanted to do that. Oh, you want to do it? Do it, Fran. Go, Fran. Please. Go, Fran. Please do no, it. I'm not going to be racist again. Okay. I've done uh, that enough. <laughs> so this is the uh, the very first game in the Mario Kart series. I didn't play this much at the time. I don't know oh, if you guys my did. Friend, my friend across the street and I, that's pretty much all we played once the game came out. That was like all we were playing for months and months and months. And we would usually go back to it. Um, Wait. Battle mode. You, we actually didn't do too much like Grand Prix racing or anything. It was mostly why is, just Why racing. is nobody playing yeah, Bob? Bob, Bob, you were supposed to play a single player race. <laughs> <laughs> so Audrey's been like sitting on top. She... she Drop well, the controller. That's okay. This is, this is nothing normal for Audrey. She typically just sits at the start I, line and fails. As, 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 as just previously nice, discussed, nice. as previously discussed, there's no way to back out of options <laughs> oh, here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you literally have to reset. I, I had loaded here. it up. So this is before <laughs> B the B button was established as back. <laughs> yeah. Which is something that we take for granted now. Yeah, I remember Super Nintendo era. I was like, this makes sense that they started using this a lot in Final Fantasy games. We were uh, we were messing with the just like 
doing uh, races ahead of the start of the podcast, and like I selected a character, I'm like, oh, I didn't want that one. And I was like, how do I? You and selected I, my character, Rich. Sorry. No, I did that on character. purpose, but I selected somebody else, and I was like, oh, I don't want to do this, and I had to. Oh, so. yeah, by the way, I've, I've been playing Yoshi up here. So yeah. look at that recovery. That's pretty yeah, amazing. Yeah, recovery, friend. friend. Eighth place. Yeah, this is, <laughs> oh, he was playing right. for like this minutes is alone. This Yoshi. <laughs> anyway. Friend, you can continue. hand that back to Audrey to play some rounds. It's fine for her. I would. Oh, oh, no. Look no. at that shortcut action, people. So what I'm we're seeing now. I'm out to switch to Mario Kart 64. <laughs> oh, final lap for Yoshi. <laughs> it's terrible. You, <laughs> you can, can just do quit. It, friend. So I think this is cool to point out that this went away after this game. But in this in this version of Mario Kart, when you're playing multiplayer, everybody else is in the game. And that was something that was like they weren't able to pull off in later games. Like they would only have four people racing at once, and I thought that was always really stupid. You couldn't yeah. like in the GameCube one double dash, which Fran gave a seven point nine two. All yeah. right, we'll get there later. Yeah. You'll another notice episode. the coins you collect too. That comes back in. And Mario that's Kart another 7. feature. Yeah. I think people really missed that, and that came back only in seven, mm-hmm. right, for the three DS. Exactly. We, so can coins? you explain how that coins works? Coins are also in uh, Game Boy Advance version. Well, there you go. Yeah, uh, a lot of the features okay. have sort of come on <laughs> and well, the, off yeah. over the different years. The way the coins the, work is that the more you collect, the faster you go. Yeah, we don't so it's do in your best interest to sort of go out of your way for coins to up your max speed. But but you, you, if you get hit or whatever, you lose coins. If you get you hit, lose you lose coins if you spin out. Mm-hmm. So this game only has two modes, right? It's just battle mode and Grand Prix. Yep. That's it. Mm-hmm. And Grand Prix is like you race through four courses per level, and there's 20 total. And uh, I think what's interesting about this, and we're just get to touching on this, so I didn't play this much at the time, but this came out like 1992. That was really early for Super Nintendo. The SNES had like just this juggernaut wave of games that came out right at its launch, and, or not at its launch, but within its first like couple years in yeah, North America. This is nine months later. Yeah, like most of the oh, classics you think yeah. about when you think about Super Nintendo came like right at the beginning. Yeah, like, yeah. Very, yeah. very, very early. Razor, Super Mario World, yeah. like, launch Link titles. to the Past was right in this era. Zero. area. I think Link to the Past was just later this year in the fall, 90, I believe. 93, I think. Was it 93? I don't okay. really know. Don't I mean, remember. did we clearly so, define though. every... I mean, this was the first Mario Kart. It was? Yeah. Yes, and uh, it was the first... <laughs> That's why it's a big deal. Well, Don't worry, you know, we said that. You know what? It's also a big deal is that it's also just the first like cart game. Like it's it's yeah. like it's like RC Pro Am kind of in the sense that it's like a casual race game. Yeah. And those oh. did exist. Like there was arcade games that were super fun to play, like off road and stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, in terms of like a behind the cart, behind the, it was just like well, totally crazy technology. Something yeah. else to note about this game, to the best of my knowledge this was like the first major mario spin-off i mean we had stuff like dr mario which is kind of a little different to me and like you know i think there was some pc games like mario typing or mario's missing and stuff like that yeah but like this was one of the big you know this really paved the way for not only the entire mario kart series but like stuff like the baseball soccer you know all these different like the sports iterations yeah, all totally. the mario sports games although he um, was the referee in punch out that's true. Mike Tyson's question. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, I mean, that, so he was already he, exploring other and he was in his own game. Though. He was in Ness Open Golf, actually. Yeah. yeah. And him and Luigi played, there and then were, the princess watched. They were like around in these weird like guest roles and stuff like that. But this is like, to me at least, this is like the first major spin-off for well, the character well, in its the, franchise. To your as a whole. point, yeah, yeah. it actually has all the characters in it, yeah, right? That's it, yeah. And weirdly, it adds Donkey Kong. Yeah. Although which which think, Donkey Kong had been left out of Mario. I think it's Donkey Kong Junior to be specific. Yeah, it's Donkey Kong Junior. Yeah. And then Donkey Kong in the later games and the manuals it said that he grew up to be Donkey Kong. Oh, is that what they did? Yeah, That's so, so it's funny. still Donkey Kong Jr. Yeah, but yeah. Mario doesn't age. And also yeah, Princess is just, just Princess. Like Charles Martin it's not even Princess Peach or Princess Toadstool, it's just Princess. Um, I yeah, wonder what that was amusing about. details. Well, I mean, just the franchise was Yoshi's evolving. Fat. Remember, you and I went to that pinball. We went to that pinball expo, and within yeah. like one year, all the branding for Mario had changed. Oh, like, just fans. this radical That's difference. So, um, Oh, uh, ghost. So, so here's something oh, yeah. interesting about this game. It's based, this, you can see this ghost house. There's also Donut Plains, Chaco <gasps> Island. These levels are all based on Super Mario World. Yeah. Like th- that was the that was the the Mario inspiration mm-hmm. to this game. But interestingly, this game did not start out as a Mario game. Okay, it, short it started out as a cart game. Just, oh. just a plain cart game, and then yeah. they slapped Mario on top of it. That's, That's right. Cool. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it, you know, Miyamoto was the producer at the time. Um, you know, so he wasn't like lead development role, but they were right. looking for a way to make a two-player F Zero, right? Because right. F Zero was huge. It didn't have any way to race your friends right. in it, and it worked similarly, right? Wait, there was both seven rotations. Oh, I got it right. That was time. awesome, Fran. That was really. Well, good. I screwed it up bad last time. I just wanted people you to just drop off the know. cliff. <laughs> oh. So to do that, do you, you have to hit jump, right? Well, yeah. I forgot. I thought you, you boosted over the ramp, and okay. you just need to use the feather. Yeah, you that's the trick. You need the feather. Feather also from Super Mario World. Yeah, and that never returned, right? I don't think the feathers in the back of my knowledge. Yeah. This yeah. is the only one. So yeah, the ju- that was a much debated uh, rem- uh, removal from the series, right? When we went to N64, just jump. The well, the feather was oh, taken yeah, yeah. out, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. So you couldn't jump over stuff anymore. And, oh. Or wait a minute. The feather might have been there, but, uh... Oh, no. Well, so what, no. what everybody I'm, hated on was in, the in the was Double Dash, no. they took out jumping <laughs> entirely. So you just that power slide. Yeah. Well, yeah. here's the thing. It's really hard it. to play. And that's my favorite one, so I'm really used to it. So I'm not used Come to the jump too much. It's okay. <laughs> Like, you can jump across textured areas to yeah. get across them faster. I mean, yeah, now, they, yeah. now they rely a lot on boost pads and sort of just ledges that, la- you know, you sort of launch yourself mm-hmm. on things for shortcuts and things like that. Um, but, but getting back to a little bit of uh, d- development stuff. So, yeah, it was, it was they wanted to make a two-player F-Zero, right? They had Mode 7, and uh, it was interesting because they, they put in, like, a, the, some generic characters just to get this sorted out. And according to th- this article, um, it says that... There was a generic man in overalls operating the car. <laughs> that so really, perfect. then they're like, "Oh, you, maybe we should just make it Mario." Oh, come on! Wait, wait, wait. But yeah, they just, they really didn't develop it as Mario. Well, I mean, that's that's the way with. most games at Nintendo um, don't start as any specific franchise for the most part. They just start See, as a thing. I think they it's should just start them as a Mario first game. first and then build the rest yeah, of the game. Yeah, it's the concept. It. It's like, oh, okay, this would be appropriate for this franchise. So. Yeah. yeah. But don't um, you think they should just use Mario? Then you'd be like, then then they can swap in Kirby. If they I want. mean, they always decide that <laughs> stuff later. Like, I mean, we, I forget which franchise we were talking. Oh, it was when we were talking about Sunshine and how we talked about how Mario yeah. 128 became Pikmin and this yeah, and that yeah. and this. Yeah. And it's it's the same idea in Mario Galaxy even. So I mean. It's the same idea where they just say, hey, let, what if we come up with this fun concept? Oh, wait, you know what? That might make uh, Mario. You know, Do you guys Mario remember that on the, uh, that Simpsons episode where Bart goes to Mad Magazine headquarters and he looks through <laughs> the... Or, or he doesn't get in, but then, like, Alfred e. Newman, like, pokes his head out yeah, yeah. into the boring office that Bart sees and there's, like, like crazy shit going on in the background, like, all the mag- <laughs> it's funny to me that, Nintendo's development. Yeah. It's funny that we have, like, you have these thwomps here, but they don't have any spikes on them or anything like that. Oh, it's, can't uh, draw those. It's too difficult. Yeah, right. Bob's not gonna let me have redemption, man. I'm, I'm not I'm not letting you pass. Me. Yeah, well, you're not <laughs> so talking funny. and listening over there, but, uh... Well, he's, he's focusing. I'm, I'm concentrating on playing We invited the game. Bob to come up here and to win. be good at Mario Kart. We invited yeah. Bob to That's win. That's what he's here to do. Because Friend, otherwise, there will be all these comments and say, you guys all suck at the game but it turns out that we have one person up here who's really damn to be, good to be it. honest when i actually started playing this just a little bit ago it was the first time i played in like decades probably and like I just, but you know slide. these courts from recent games uh yeah because the they reuse part, them yeah. they do they do reuse them a lot but there's still the weight Which and sort of like Bob. the physics of yeah, the characters are so different to be honest like whenever ah, i go back to play an old oh. mario kart game i always go to mario kart 64 because that's mm. probably still my favorite in the franchise right. i i, re- I, I still like this talking. one but and i just losing. rarely return to it yeah yeah now 64 Mario Kart 64 was sort of the, the clincher for oh, me in terms of buying an N64 man, because so I mean Mario 64 looked amazing but I was like well I want a couple more games that I really want and when I found out that Mario Kart was coming out uh, which is actually approximately the time I discovered IGN back in the day or the old N64 site yeah um, yeah, that was the game that sort of got me into N64. Who do so. you who do you play as, Rich? My heart is Regularly, going to explode. I don't, I don't, I don't really remember. I do tend to oh, go no. for like what has Yoshi like characteristics, which means like yeah. acceleration yeah, and, and yeah. decent top speed. Um, I really don't like slow I was, characters. Like I was, bigger characters. Uh, like like characters. Six seconds behind I, I, I you. I get annoyed they're, they're if I can't stop. They're good for battle, though. You can run right into people yep. at the beginning. You can do that, but it's just like the the, the lack of acceleration just drives me crazy. Yeah, I was played as a Yoshi during the main game and then Bowser during battle. My See that, Rich? Is, what? You see that? <laughs> what happened? You doubted me. We didn't oh. see it. There was a photo So this finish. game wouldn't get a 7.9, Fran, right? No, sir. Because you're actually so decent Fran, at it. <laughs> Sorry we so interrupted Fran, you guys talking. I was just like it's so no I just want happy. Ha- I just want to ask. Oh, what happened, the final. What happened with DuckTales last week? I think it's time to figure out wh- why you were so terrible I can't talk DuckTales. about what happened with DuckTales no, no, last well, week, actually. Well, you're so... You can talk about how you didn't know there was a button to use the cane to bounce with. <laughs> I hadn't played it in 20-some years or whatever, so yeah, I kind of forgot. Oh. But this is all coming right back to you, isn't it? Oh, it is. It uh, is well, I played fair, this like five months ago. Simple. It's go. Oh, you replayed <laughs> like, this. Yeah. That's not true. Well, like, the, jumps, between... the jumps and slides okay. and stuff, like, you're Here, kind of Here's basically Mario Kart strategy. Get coins so you can go a little faster. Find the nearest shortcut for like a speed run or a, you know mushroom boost. Punch your friend in the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you know the red the red shell saving it. Don't be too hasty. This That's one is very, well, oh this, the slide the slide the slide is huge in this one. It doesn't have the sort of like the back forth boost ability where you get yeah, the sparks yeah, that yeah. boost you. They didn't implement no, that. No, that was yet. double yeah. dash. Yeah. I like Wait, that ready? visual shortcut. feature too. Yeah. It really makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, shortcuts were huge in this game actually. That's was, how you made up for lost. What's time. funny is that like I the remember courses were pretty short relatively. Yeah, yeah, my friend. And I in this, we barely uh, played racing. We just did battle mode, like always. Really? That's yeah. all we. Yeah, played. we did too. But I like the that cup mode here because too. people play battle mode like crazy. But now yeah. people don't care because we're so tired of like 
that deathmatchy, just kind of really simplistic I multiplayer. I'm a bit tired of it. It just doesn't feel like it's as good. The tracks aren't as good, and just doesn't handle as well as it. You did really in think 64. that? You really think if the tracks were really if good it, in the Wii version, brought, you'd play it? Sure. I don't think yeah, that's true. I would play the hell out of it. Well, it was Wii. like it was in 64. Hey, by the way, they brought back Block Fort and all that. That'd but when awesome. you pick up the 64 game, you still want to play Battle? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? It's totally. different. So I, I think, think it's, I enjoy oh, Battle so modes personally, but none of my friends actually want to play Battle mode. I know, yeah, yeah. I, don't I live know. with someone who plays battle mode with me. I'm very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Your cat is very talented. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Audrey. She always Every wins. Every time, it's like, she's always like in a backpack or <laughs> playing Magic playing, the Gathering. Yeah, playing Magic hey, the Gathering. Bob, she's yeah. a multi-talented kitty. I dropped kitty. the ball on that course. Man, you dropped the ball. You dropped the ball on the last course too. <sighs> yeah, you guys I ever, came in second on the last two one. Two in a row, you lost. Two in a row, Bob. Two in a row, yeah, Bob. I, I didn't we expect you in here to win. Get out. <laughs> gotta, th uh, gotta throw down some more perfect circuits. I have guess. you guys ever uh, gone to like a real I came professional first overall. karting? No. Like, no. Like, I used to do RC cars, yeah. like race RC little cars. RC cars, used to, but yeah. not actually. I went to one cars. with uh, our engineering team. Oh, I we had like a, this. a day at the races, and like it was this crazy. <laughs> Oh, I hate to interrupt, but Mario's getting hammered up there. Yeah, Mario's that? got a like, <laughs> bottle of shit. He's celebrating. It's uh, yeah. apple it's cider. Uh -huh. Lies. It's, it's ramen. Lies. Lies. Yeah. Oh, wait, that Sparkling was racist. Apple well. Two cider. congratulations. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I don't get it. I think that's Two for second player. Oh, okay. Probably. Oh, yeah. Or okay. second place. <laughs> Nah. Anyway, so awesome. I don't know, real go karting. I've I gone to like so. the like the little kid ones a lot, and oh, like yeah. it's it's kind of it, nothing's really like this. But uh, if you guys ever go go real go karting sometime, it's kind of terrifying. I oh, would really? not. I don't think I can do I it. I would just freak out. I got like this giant blister in the center of my hand, <laughs> and, like just peeled off. Like, it was so intense. And like I was with like Mark Ryan, and like other people were like car butt bumps, yeah, and the like, uh -huh. they're like good at racing. It was intense, man. You get like strapped in. You have a neck brace, like all yeah. this stuff. That's I think fun. it's funny that, that and fun. those engines are real. It's like 150 cc, 100 cc. 50 cc actually... those are like actual like engine measurements for cart size things <gasps> so like cool. golf carts yeah. are like 150 cc yeah. i never really understood what that like 150 cubic centimeters of of uh i of think uh, it's the engine size <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah no one one thing to note we literally just bought this game on we it happened to be not on the Wii that we brought in um that's why you don't see special cup unlocked so no yeah. rainbow road for you guys yes yeah, sadly oh. Oh, no really? he bob's playing right now no we can't do rainbow that road. brings up something important uh what's your favorite courses People's? Uh, well, so oh, for man. me, I mean, it's not so much that I have specific favorite courses, but I always look forward to seeing what the interpretation of Rainbow Road is in every iteration of the me game. Too. Um, that to me is by, by far the most Cube. interesting. I, love, I think it's so good. Mm. So yeah, are you talking I love about Rainbow Road? Are you talking or about Koopa Troopa Beach? Is that what it's called? Yeah, 64. I was gonna say in this yeah. one, I really yeah, in, like. Uh, it's called Chocolate. Well, not Chocolate Island. Yeah, Koopa the Beach one. The yeah, beach yeah, really yeah. Good. I think it's Koopa Troopa Beach, right? I think yeah. so. I think so. Yeah. Koopa yeah. Beach. Well, then that one's carried into all the other games. Yeah, I think. I think. Has it been in all? I mean, the Ghost Mansion. For example, has an iteration in every single one. Bowser's Castle, I believe, has an iteration in every single one of them. I'm sure I'm gonna get a Bowser's ton of comments. Bowser's Castle, I love that one. Bowser's that's Castle, good. Rainbow Road, always. Yeah. So, you guys noticing something about single player here that's really wacky? Is that the bottom screen is either a re rear view or a map? Yeah, I was gonna say, Bob, give oh, us the rear go. view. When it you, it's not gonna mess it's, you up. I, it yeah. honestly isn't. I'm dictated by me. It, it randomly switches. Oh, I thought you can check it out. No, Maybe when someone's it's really close. obnoxious, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I love this this overall map, though, because it just looks like this brown, wavy mess, like the way it presents the well, texture to you. It's yeah. just so brutal. It looks like your screen screwed up or something, actually. You know, but to, to their credit, you, you know. You make it brown. Well, I wonder it, if they're using the same Mode 7 panel to, to make that art. To just rotate yeah, it. Yeah, because like that's what Mode 7 does. It, it takes a sprite map and just rotates it all, all yeah, around. Right. Mm -hmm. That's like the same effect in uh, the end of Super Mario World when you're fighting Bowser. Nice job and his, uh, scaling in Yeah, it. and his mm -hmm. uh, crowny clown thing that you love, right? You love yeah. That. Oh, yeah, the balloon. It, the, the, yeah, the Bowser balloon goes the forward. Now it's the clown car or yeah. Koopa car. Well, Bowser we're also car. seeing this on an LCD car? TV. Clown which car. Didn't so. It's a car, though. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the car. With so. the makes no sense. That's a good point. I, I don't know if you guys audiences. realize this, but if you use textures, um, textures from games like this and like Final Fantasy 3 especially that looked really pretty at the time when you see them on LCD the fact that they're so sharp like looks like crap it makes like some interference so like when you play this on a CRT it just looks better it's true and people are yeah. like now like making these emulators that emulate really nice CRT look and like if it's Nintendo if Nintendo was able to just like ha go half assed and just try to do that it would look really good I think. yeah I yeah, mean, I mean, it's it, not the same, but I think it looks good. Yeah, I mean, it's really crazy to think about why that matters, but, you know, like, even for fighting games, the latency is way different, and, yeah. uh, like, literally, it's a cathode ray tube, right? So it's firing electrons at, like, this, this, you know, screen. Okay, I'm not a scientist. This, but, this, um, <laughs> but it's firing, like, electrons at it, whereas with this, it's, um, 
it's much different. It's, yeah. it's, it's glowing little crystals is what Exactly. Is. Yeah. <laughs> Audrey, what's your favorite courses? Uh, like I said, I love uh, Koopa Troopa Beach. I you love can the, talk about across all games. I love Bowser's Castle. Uh, one of the newer ones, I love Maple Treeway. I think that's oh, from that the Wii version. So that good. one's so yeah. good. It's yeah. really pretty. Is that the one with the big like tree shooter the thing The big maple tree and you yeah, like, yeah, jump yeah, through oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I love that My one. My favorite good. all-time Mario Kart course is the Donkey Kong Mountain in GameCube. That one's oh, really that's cool. Yeah. 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 You're going up. For a while, and then, then you, you get jump. to the top, and then you're flying a little while, and then you just plummet down the. The, yeah. the, the hairpins are just so good in that. That is and a really like, good You go course. off the edge, you're screwed. Yeah. And oh, screwed. what is it? Wario Stadium? Yeah, Wario oh, Stadium. Stadium. Really good. And then my Dino favorite. Dino Jungle is really good, too. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like, you know, the single player in Double Dash, it, which is what you're talking about, right? Um, is. Well, not single player necessarily, but just. just well, courses. levels. But sorry, the. Uh, non battle mode. Grand Prix. Yeah, the Grand Prix stuff and yeah. time trials. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. I like the. Oh, we are the review. We know that's not true. And seven is, you we'll hated get back that game, friend. I did not. Friend. You know what? It was the battle mode and the you know the promised online friend, support. We all know that anything up. below a nine means it sucks and you hate well, it. Well, yeah, just I like Dark Souls. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't say that it was really great and you should buy it if you like action Audrey, games. Audrey, I said why it was terrible. Why do you hate games? Why do you hate games? It's because it's Dells and Scott's the Mario. I actually, <laughs> I actually, <laughs> the Zeldas. I actually read that review this morning. Dark Souls yeah. from Starting. Yeah, Starting Souls. Yeah, Audrey did the review of that and that's coming out for Wii U. I don't know. You'll probably have to touch it up, but do you think? Any bug fixing in the Wii U one could change your entire opinion of I the game. So. I mean, that's so. Uh, and, and again, I've, I've I said it was really good. That's what the score means. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's just tons of glitches, really random ones that just they'll happen once, and then you'll restart the system, and then they'll never come up again. But a different one will come up. Yeah. So that brought the experience <laughs> down. A lot of the environments were just far too empty for how big they were. Yeah. So just. But you didn't like. say it was a bad game. No, I said no. it was a really good game, people and that really you should buy that. it. Well, I think I think I was surprised <laughs> that there was there's really positive reactions from other press outlets, right? And, uh, yeah. That, well, it's, it's actually just, like, split. Like, they're, like, I think... Well, no, no, uh, it is split. Kotaku, yeah, yeah. official Xbox magazine. Lots of, eights. lots of other places gave it sevens or seven fives. A lot of places gave it nines or eights. So, like, yeah. it's just totally split. You either don't care That's, look at about Bob. the I don't really know what's going bad right glitches that happen. I'm, I'm, like, one time I was I'm playing at the like end, assaulted. and just the music totally cut out towards the very end in the... So, yeah, I don't know. It's really well, good I, I think, and I'm, this is not because I just work for IGN, but I think mm -hmm. you did a really good job with that review. Oh, thank you. And I think, like, different critics look focused on different things, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I well, think, some like, people you think... were very <laughs> focused on how cheesy it was. <laughs> and I am too. And that's what prevents me from enjoying Darksiders, is that, like, the story and the and the characters and stuff are just, like, kind of, just kind of, like, a, it's just... It's, it's too, like, 13-year-old for me. I just can't get into it. I, I think the thing... So... I, I remember seeing a couple stupid comments out there saying, oh, why did Audrey review this? Richard review this, which was ridiculous. But, like, yeah. the funny thing is, is that I actually agree with everything Audrey said, and I would have might actually been harder on the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, to me, you know, and it's not just because I really like Zelda, but the fact of the matter is that Zelda does that kind of game better than yeah. Darksiders 2 does it, well, you pe know? People were pissed off that I said the word Zelda in the review. And I only mentioned it once because to not mention it would be a disservice because it's Well, and clearly... you're a big Zelda fan. I think you're the perfect person to review a game. Yeah. Well, and I love that, action like, games. That, I, not the, the people that made that ones. game like Zelda. Well, no, clearly they're they... like you. They're like fans well, of Zelda. Well, it's an homage mm -hmm. to Zelda, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like, you can do that, and if mm -hmm. it's a great game, then awesome. You have another game that's like that. But the thing is that it didn't do it as well as the... it didn't do adventure as well as Zelda did. It didn't do. Yeah, neither did Platformers Skyward Sword, as well as to be fair. Princess. <laughs> also, here's the thing to like. I just don't think it lived up to the franchises it was trying to. Here's the thing. I think anybody would actually welcome a from. different game that's not Zelda that plays just as well as Zelda. Like, mm -hmm. I'm all for that. I'd, Give me I'd another franchise. Yeah, sure, uh, I'm fine with that. M-rated Zelda sounds awesome. I'd love to play that. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, just everything you said. I mean, it's just yeah. like, it does everything good, not great, or yeah. extremely well, or anything well, else. Well, and a lot of people were mad. They were like, oh, so it has a tons of tons of glitches, but they're going to release a patch, and then suddenly it's going to be a 9. Yeah. It's like, well, the A, that wasn't... doesn't work that well, way. Yeah, it's like, A, that... Yeah, what do you cross your fingers and hope that what it happens? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna give this a nine because if they ever get around to patching it, because that's worked so well for it's like, Skyrim oh, in the Blu -ray. so far. Skyrim, yeah, Skyrim's <laughs> never been patched. Then it's gonna be a nine. No, you judge it based on how it is right then, how it's gonna be yeah. when people buy it. It's like, from oh, the for store. Dark Knight Rises, I hear they're gonna change the ending on the extended edition Blu-ray. Like that. It's kind yeah. of a different like, product. No, you well, like, that's not, I didn't hear that. That's, very, front of you. that's very relevant because they mm -hmm. just released this pre prequel or like pre scene for Avengers. It was oh. like an awesome opening. Oh, really? Did you see that? No, not yet. It's really good. It's like, you, did you like it, Rich? I don't know if you, no. you didn't like it. No. I thought it was good. Well, see, I, I didn't like Avengers. 
So I thought what? it would be cool to open with that. And <gasps> thus the truth comes see, out. See, now I wish you could see our faces. I'm like okay. shocked by that. Anyway. Well, I, I, liked, I, liked, I liked individual five. parts. I like Thor. I like Hulk. I just thought the movie... I, I don't like any of the enemies. I thought the plot was terrible. I thought the dialogue was really good, though. Hmm. As superhero good movies go, especially the entertaining comedy-driven ones, in a, you know, it's kind of a comedy. I thought mm. it was very It well. was, yeah. Not a perfect movie. Should but. we talk about like Hulk Nintendo joke. news? Yeah, we, let's do that briefly, and then I have some uh, listener mail to get to, which we haven't done yet on Nintendo Video Chat, and I it's thought really we did good. It on the first Very one. first one we did. Yeah. Mario yeah. Sunshine. We Doesn't did. count. Guys, we're really <laughs> doing. We're really doing it now. Super Nintendo Video Chat. We planned for it. Really, yeah. Really. Cool. All right. Uh, you want to kick it off with the uh, 3DS news? Or? Yeah, I mean, I've got just a whole bunch of different oh, stuff in all it. sorts of different orders. All right. Um, a lot of these are real quick bullet points. Um, we found out that Ace Attorney versus Professor Layton is not only ex- exists, exists, it's yeah. uh, over 60% complete, and it will be playable at TGS. Yeah. Cool. Pretty awesome. Still not we have a Layton question Japan. today, too, that we'll get to. Yeah, it's perfect. good. Perfect. Yeah. Um, we got some more Layton news in a second. Uh, also playable at TGS, Monster Hunter 4, which is the hu- one of the big reasons I think the 3DS has really taken off. Oh, yeah. That um, game's enormous in Japan. <laughs> yeah, just the promise of that and knowing it's coming in 2013, I think, is letting Japanese gamers buy with sort of assurance. And also mm-hmm. the thing, too, um, keep in mind is at least in the sales charts lately, uh, Nintendo is just owning everything in Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, For 3DS specifically. Right? 3DS, oh, yeah, even think, old Wii games. It's, it's the really entirety, crazy. The last uh, numbers that were released, uh, Nintendo dominated the entirety of the top 10. And yeah. if I recall, they it's had like 17 of 20 or something like that. 17 yeah. of 20, yeah. And these are tough like times, that. too, like for the industry. Like There's just not much coming out. And I think Nintendo yeah. like investing and putting that new system out then was a really good mm-hmm. idea, although yeah. Vita, not so much. No. Yeah. But um, man, like I can't think of like a single prediction that I would have read three years ago about 3DS that was correct. Right. Everybody was a naysayer, especially in, in Japan of all because everybody's a like, mobile remember, so big in Japan. I remember when I said on this here podcast that 3DS would outsell Vita, and people were like, "You're stupid, fan <laughs> girl. How could well, you say that?" That's the amazing thing. In is your face, everybody. <laughs> I'm psychic. Everybody thought Vita would walk <laughs> in and destroy. What? Vita has some life left in it. That's yeah, why it's called the Vita. I was about to say, it's really... <laughs> yeah. It means life. It's, ironic. <laughs> it's in the name. Uh, EX Troopers, which is the Lost Planet 3DS spinoff, uh, is also... Well, it's actually, I that believe, game looks really cool. I think it's also coming to PS3, I want to say, but that's also coming to TGS playable. Mm-hmm. Um, other news. This is all very Japan-centric because you know it's doing really well in Japan, and hopefully some of this stuff comes over here. Uh, a pink-slash-white 3DS XL Woot. is... Yeah, no, yeah, it's being, that's what they need, another color. Yeah. That's what we, Japan yeah. needs, another we, color. We yeah. need more colors, oh, that's yeah. for sure. Um, it's so cute too. I like it's it. pink external shell. It's like Kirby pink. Yeah, Kirby pink yeah. and then white on the interior. Mm-hmm. Uh, side note: In America, we have yet to really uh, receive any sort of white 3DS XL. Just red and Although blue. there's Anything. a great blog on One Up. This yeah. guy's doing, and, he, and he's, he's updating the the 3DS wiki with a how-to for this. But it's basically you swap out the motherboard mm-hmm. in a Japanese and a US uh, DS 3DS, and you can make a uh, white 3DS. And he right. has a working one. He actually lives in the East Bay and offered to do it for us if we want oh, to. That's cool. It. Awesome. Or you could put an awesome D. Decal on your XL like me. Uh, yeah, Audrey got a cool little. Yeah. Audrey likes to put decal. stickers on her system. It's decal dummy. That's like if you bought a Ferrari and you put a sticker on it. Yeah, I don't think yeah, people I don't do that. Think all the time. No one, no one like does. Stuff no one puts Maybe stuff an on there. XL. Sure. Fancy sports car. People do that all the time. I've heard of. Uh, ugh, they horrible. had a big stupid fish tail. <laughs> on the on their like cars, not a Ferrari. Yeah, I, well, that. not a Ferrari, but like still, like people a BMW put a big no something. fear sticker. No, I know. Truck nuts. Have you ever seen truck nuts? My point being, is have you been to the no south? No, 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 no. No, shut up. My point is, it's stupid. Like okay. that's the point. No, no, I agree with you. Yeah, I'm I, rich. I, would never, I hate I everything would, and everyone. I hate I'm Audrey most of all. I think you guys need to play now. another round of Mario. <laughs> yeah, they need to work it right. out. Uh, Pink 3DS XL. Um, a new Professor Layton game was announced for the 3DS. The sixth game, and apparently the last, the last that will feature Layton himself. Yeah, at least. it'll be you know the end what? of the. It's because the voice actor uh, is not very nice. <laughs> and they don't want to have him back. That's not true. <laughs> He's a gentleman. <laughs> and a scholar. Uh, but that, that sort of makes sense because it'll be the end of the prequel trilogy that they've started with Last Spectre. So nice. I'm sure they'll continue the series, but with like his son or something. Animal Crossing, uh, subtitled Jump Out in Japan, has released date in Japan. Now it's actually coming this year, November 8th. Um, so, for Japan, yeah. Yeah, for Japan. <laughs> uh, and there's going to be a special Nintendo Direct focusing just on that game sometime in the future. But you ready for the big Animal Crossing news? It exists! It yeah. exists! Yeah. Exactly. And it's, when is it coming, Audrey? They finally, finally talked about it. They said it's coming to North America first half of 2013. Woo! It's better than nothing, guys. Come yeah. on. And some big news. 
views from the footage they showed. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, first, Brewster's back. <laughs> Yay! Animal Crossing news. I love Brewster. Coffee. He's, yeah. I want good coffee He's kind of rude, Brewster. but you know. You now he warms up to you, though, just and then he tells you about his exploits in the city. Yeah. Just out of curiosity. He's a businessman. Exactly. Is, uh, <laughs> business pigeon. Is Brewster in all the other Animal Crossings? He's in Wild World. Uh, he's not, I never played he's much not in the, the first two. One. He's no. not in the first two. And by first two, I mean the 64 and GameCube ones. Okay. Because there's a coffee shop. There's. A, I don't think Toto KK plays in a coffee shop. He disappears to play somewhere else. Right? Yeah, is it? He's he in the Wii? I never played, played they, the Wii one that they much. They all blur together to me. Too much. I, I would really assume. Really no, Toto KK just appears on the train tracks to play. <laughs> I uh, oh, the first yeah, one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's. But anyway, so Brewster's back, and Booker has a lost and found shop. Okay. Which is cool. Instead this of the stuff recycling really bin. makes me want to shoot myself. Yeah, and and you can choose which shop, since you're the mayor, you can choose which shops goes in go in your town and what mm. time they open. You actually start with a tent, right, and to get a, an upgrade. Yeah, eventually you have to, to your work your way up. Oh, like you have that. a tent. You have, you have an office you start with too. A tent, you have yeah. your own office as mayor. Apparently, <laughs> Sam, the proper way to move into a city is you just pack a tent, you go somewhere, and much like <laughs> homeless people, I think that's what people are doing. I know. People in San Francisco, you know that's true. So you apparently you start at the tender line. Apparently, the San Francisco is the the prototype for Animal Crossing. Exactly. So one day you're going to have a stupid talking raccoon like trying yeah. to sell you. I, do, awesome I, do, I, I love these points, but I do want to get to mail and I want to make sure I, okay. which gets with you. Can you can walls news. and benches. You can change the color of your furniture. <laughs> you can change your door, roof, and exterior. There's new furniture Wait, and wallpaper. Uh, Audrey, Audrey, Clothing Audrey. design from City Folk is back. Here's, here's my this question. All, okay. You can exchange okay. designs with friends via QR Audrey, this code. is all new? Okay. This is all yeah. new. So what the hell did you do in the previous games? It sounds like all basic stuff. Hey, you can wear pants now. Like did and shoes. Oh, you can wear <laughs> pants. <and shoes. laughs> like what were they just like little like? Uh, it's there's like, a, it's you like can do a lot in those games to be you, fair. So you, like a custom roof is a big every deal. Once in a while. Yeah. No, it's not. Or toothbrushes. <laughs> you know what? Also, I had someone on Twitter go, What I do hope you Rick... like, Rich? No, no. Just name something someone you actually are positive book. towards. <laughs> yeah, wrestling and comics. I I no, he that. only complains about those, too. I hope it's Rich doesn't review <laughs> Animal Crossing Statues. was like a comment on Twitter. It's like, of course I'm not going to review Animal Crossing. Like, yeah. under no circumstance would I review <laughs> Animal Crossing. Yeah. Like, I don't want to. I, you know, yeah, it's not happening. Funny. Um, okay, moving along in news. Um, Get to the big stuff, Rich. I got good letters. It's Audrey. That was interesting, but... Not we so interesting. Yeah. A lot of little uh, wow. updates, honestly. Um, Since Rich doesn't like it, it's no good, apparently. That's totally true. All right, save it for the race, kids. <laughs> All right. Um, we've known for a while that Crytek has some Wii U game that licenses the CryEngine 3. We mm-hmm. just didn't know what it was. Um, it wasn't any of the Crisis games. Uh, a new ESRB listing has seemed to indicate that it's going to be Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. Mm-hmm. Um, and those so are generally correct. Wait, what is Sniper Ghost so. Warrior 1? I don't know. It's a game I've never that Stephen played Sniper. loves. Crytek I, made that? I've never played. No, no, no. It involves the CryEngine. Right. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Got Crytek it. has sure. been saying that there is a game uh, the on The point Wii U. is is that people always argue whether the CryEngine will run or not. Run or not. Or not. Well, they yeah. said before, they said months ago that it did, and it They said beautiful. it did. They said there was a game there running a on, it. on it. It looked beautiful. Yep. We just didn't yeah. know what it was. Seems like this is it. And yeah, like Audrey said, ESRB listings are generally accurate because unlike store listings, which can just be put in there at will. Mm-hmm. Um, Somebody pays for the ESRB. Someone list. has to pay to file with the ESRB. Yeah, this isn't just a placeholder. For literally each version of the game, too. So and This happens all the Time, Sometimes right. mistakes happen, but a lot of ESRB listings are actually they very correct. Rarely it's like mistakes. It's like with trademarks. Like eventually, you just have to file them, and you hope that the press doesn't pick up on them. Yeah. yeah. And these days, like so much leaks, just because you have a lot of people and even a lot of fans just looking mm-hmm. through all this stuff. Um, this just happened so. recently too with another Wii U title. Yeah, Which that one. A... That one's supposed to be an eShop one. It's by Mechner, the guy who made Prince of Persia. I cannot remember the name Cat- of the game right now. Karateka, but it's not pronounced that. It's pronounced Karateka. 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 Okay, so there that. is the suggestion again through the SRB that this is coming to Wii U potentially cool. through the eShop. Obviously, you know, with these things, like there's no, it's not official until it's actually announced. Mm-hmm. You know, so there could be some, uh, you know, just misfilings or something. But chances are, you know, seems right. like it's headed that direction. Yeah. There's more, Sam. Okay. There's more. Oh, there's more. Okay. Um, Iwata recently did a round of interviews. Uh, well, he did an interview with Kotaku more specifically. Um, most of it isn't really worth bringing up, but there was one point that was interesting to me, which is Miiverse. And Iwata was sort of actually discussing sort of the social implications of Miiverse and how there really isn't, you know, you have Twitter, you have Facebook, but, you know, your types of content on there range from everything. You know, just politics, there's there's yeah. just random crap, Hurricanes. there's also stuff that's relevant, you know, yeah, news, there's politics, there's everything, but there's not 
you know, it's hard to get it completely filtered to just games and stuff that's relevant to the game you're playing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's Nintendo's vision for Miiverse, apparently. We'll see. We haven't seen this thing in action or in full yeah. demo. I, don't know. Um, I think it could actually... No, I like this I idea. Know. I, act- I, mean, I talked yeah. about this last week on the podcast, actually. Oh, cool. Um, not, not to that extent, oh, yeah. but uh, I, I think, like, reading that, they have an idea about, like, online play that's still, like, about being kind of single player. Right. Like, I can compare stuff with my friends, but they're all there. Yeah. And I think that's what I want. Like, yeah. that's, what, mm-hmm. that's what I like about Xbox Live, like, leaderboards, but that's what I don't like about playing, like, Halo with random people. Yeah, like, I mean... There's things that you can do online right. that are cool for single-player games and augment them, and I'm really Well, so I think, I think there's two points to make here. One is that, you know, I, I, I do really like Xbox Live. I mean, I, I have it, and I use it a lot, and when I can, I play games with my friends, but... Um, at he the likes same it, Audrey. T- <laughs> see? Oh, yeah, see? There you uh, go. Yeah. We found uh, something. <laughs> Why like is Rich reviewing Nintendo games we, if he likes yeah. Xbox <laughs> Live? That's a crazy X, but I knew it. We so. should just have a podcast of what Rich likes. I'm just saying. Yes, let's that do that. That would be a no, short podcast. That, that. Oh, uh, but, so you have Xbox Live. You, so, like, you like that. I think what the interesting thing is is that, you know, it's really, you know, it's a collection of friends and I play online with them, but it doesn't necessarily replicate the feeling of, like, four-player and N64 mm-hmm. games or four-player GameCube games. And I think what Nintendo might be trying to do holograms is, are you saying living room holograms exactly just like on cnn <laughs> um so i just think that uh, you know they're trying to find a way to do that and i mean audrey you mentioned that you don't really play online multiplayer too aggressively yeah, I, mean, I just never took to it i honestly prefer just like local multiplayer get right. some controllers and get a game yeah. just actual interaction like yeah. I, nothing against it at all i totally get why people love it it's just i prefer a more retro approach to multiplayer and what's and online, interesting I guess. is we had know. colin campbell write a piece about this and you know everyone's making a big fuss about the gamepad mm-hmm. and sort of the actual like touchscreen but there's the potential in some ways for you know this meverse idea and the idea of a social gaming community that's integrated into your system and not just an app for twitter or facebook if it's done right and we'll see what nintendo does but yeah. if it does it right and gets it right early um, there's a potential for that actually to be the most significant con- contribution of Wii U, but we'll see. I am very interested in it. I mean, even though I was kind of like going, hmm. The, the only reason I made that sound, by the way, was that like every time Nintendo has this great idea, yeah. the execution sometimes just it or, doesn't turn out to be what you want. Or so they launch we'll it a year later. Yeah, yeah or it'll like, be later. If we yeah. get this system and it doesn't have this built in, then right. what's the point? What is the right. point of well, that? I think the thing with Nintendo is that they usually don't try to give you what you want. They try and find something surprising, something new, very Nintendo to do. And so sometimes it's going to be something that isolates a lot of gamers, and yeah. sometimes it, it'll be something that just hits a home run. It's Nintendo, just, I mean, despite the fact that they're totally yeah. different and one company is just dominating everything in the world, but they remind me a lot of Apple in which that they just do their own thing mm-hmm. and then just re- sit there and insist that it's right, and sometimes it really pays off. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah always. That was, that's what I was going to say. They also, the virtual boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, well I wasn't yeah. They, they tend not to make huge really? bets, though. They do, like, really wild experiments, and mm-hmm. they, then they iterate on them. And I think that's what we're talking about. Like, you get kind of mad that it yeah. takes a year to polish it up, but that's kind of yeah. just their approach. I mean, I think the thing with me... Well, with the 3DS, they didn't even launch the right. store and stuff. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah, even there. Wasn't even you had to get a download, like, three months later like, or I can't, something. I, yeah. I, can't, I, can't I couldn't believe it either. Yeah, that was crazy. But here we are today. And they're going to do it again, because they repeat their mistakes every time. Time. We'll see. Sam I think hates everything. The apparently. mistake they made with the 3D. <laughs> it's yeah, just Sam, a little Sam rage. Sa- Sam hates more than Richard. Sam rage. Um, I would say that you know Nintendo does sometimes repeat their mistakes. However. Uh, looking at what happened with the 3DS, that damaged them so much financially that mm-hmm. I don't know that they, you know... That's I think, not a mistake they can afford. I don't think Iwata will be again. president if he makes that mistake to that significant a degree that. again. Like well, the, the board, 3DS, the, you took a pay cut and nearly stepped well, no, down. Exactly. The board and the shareholders <laughs> are... Voluntary pay cut, I just yeah. like, if you, if you created a situation yet again where you're hemorrhaging money and you have to cut your system's price because your feature set is not complete... <laughs> I don't know that the current like organizational management at Nintendo survives. It's just look at what happened to them and that's yeah, so yeah. devastating that you know and they they rely they depend on their games and their game consoles like they depend on that. They're not necessarily like Sony where they have so many different avenues of revenue yeah, that they can work with. They're just a game company. They're it's incredible games. that they're still competitive with Microsoft Yeah, and they're Sony. just a game Absolutely company. Absolutely incredible. If they don't get the games right that's it. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, so we'll see. Yeah, um, I think, I, I guess, um, they have to have online prepared in time for launch. I don't think it, it will be or that they want it to be something similar to, like, PSN or XBLA. Like, I, I don't think that's what they would do, that they can't compete with that, and I don't think they want to. Mm-hmm. Rich, are you wearing so, one of those bracelets I, that turns that. into a little animal? 
Yeah, girlfriend gave it to me. What is it? Which turn animal into? is it? This one turns into, I think, I want to say it's a phoenix. Oh, geez. So, so these are these little bracelets that the, the middle schoolers at uh, <laughs> my fiance's school have. And yeah. Like, my girlfriend has a whole bunch of them. They're like bunnies. Oh, it's a dragon. Uh, it's a dragon. It's like a little plastic yeah. gel thing. Yeah. Nice. She, she's always giving me bracelets and, and rings and stuff. Well, she must have a lot of quarters and go to Safeway a lot. <laughs> yeah, she's she got these like giant packs Staff of bracelets. them. Well, she doesn't buy one of these. Oh, she just okay. has like these this pack and she was showing them all to me. And she's like, Can you want imagine one? imagine being like the company that was like, we're going to import these like stupid bracelets from China and uh, try to sell them to the kids They're here. They're By the way, for like, it worked. Yeah. yeah. I am playing like Bob in, in battle mode. I hit yep. to interrupt, but I wanted everyone to know we switched it up and uh, I'm, I'm toad on the bottom nobody cares so, friend okay. oh they care it's, <laughs> this is a video right. chat and they are watching friend toad let's, let's get through the yeah exactly are you uh, not done yet come no, on we're only halfway through I, I got such good letters i know i know we're pl- we're all about like a lot of vintage games right now on uh, nintendo video chat partly because we have no new games this to play is the, this yeah. is the best news of the podcast this so is well. really yeah. interesting uh if they do it right again speaking of like companies actually executing things um <laughs> so we're playing you know mario kart snes game you go into gamestop or you look on gamestop.com mm. no old games there you yeah. can't. You just can't get them. Um, and they're beginning to indicate that they are going to get, uh, depending on what out, you know, depending on what uh, iteration of GameStop and Babbage's and all these things you talk about, they're going to get back into this sort of like There's no Babbage's. Vintage, no, no, I know, but GameStop evolved from Babbage's. Get to it, Rich. They're going to have vintage games at GameStop. <laughs> it's it's vintage awesome. games, games online only, from what they're saying. They actually say they have the inventory. Um, that, they're building yeah, so the far. inventory. They're purchasing it, well, which creeps me out, because that means they're going to flea markets like me, <laughs> and buying up all the Imagine, little that, Samson cards. That'd be a cool cards. job, though. You know, just, just on going eBay, though. Stuff. So all these like, used really game going? stores are going to be like, yeah, we just sold a bunch of product, and then they're going to be under well, so the thing, in a yeah. couple the years. The thing to remember is that GameStop, especially as it acquired all these different shops, like it's been around in some form for 25 years so they mm-hmm. do have an inventory and they're building it um they have some issues with refurbishing and figuring out how they're doing that sort of thing and determining conditions because those games can vary wildly in quality um but weird. yeah you know there's no there's, timetable also. they're stepping into the game because everything is gonna at one point go digital and they need mm-hmm. to have something to sell to people in sure. stores like i don't think it's gonna be just online well I and, and gonna bring shit back to i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised retail. if it goes into stores the problem is is that so you know, especially with vintage games. And they games. specifically me- mentioned collectors. Right, right. I mean, the problem with me for vintage games being in stores, and I mean, you can get around this, but, you know, you're looking for, like, this game. You know, it's it's a you little... You don't go di- browse? Uh, not necessarily. Like, I, I want, like, a specific game. I love to go to these game. game shops and browse yeah, for things I'm I don't have. Yeah, I'm pretty different. Like, yeah. I, I have a want list, right? right. So mm-hmm. I have, like, hundreds on that, and so, like, I, I'm going to well, go But if you see an old game you're looking for for the right price, you But think about it. this. Yeah. You go into a GameStop right now, and it's full. Like, there's just tons of crap, mm-hmm. but that's literally games that have existed within the past, like, five, maybe ten years, yeah. and you're talking about an industry that goes back 30 or so. Yeah. So how do you stock all of that? You know, especially if you're looking at just, like, even just, like, a PlayStation I imagine something with its like thousands the Indiana Jones Warehouse. Yeah, exactly. Just goes back. They're all in crates and you just have to like look at them all and the really good games are all they have they burn the uh, sides in yeah to and in the front of the store they just have a display case that says world of nintendo with little paper things oh, in amazing it. and you take the paper thing out and you go up to the register I have to, I have to say it's a smart move though because if for you're kids going... that are young that's what we used to have to do at toys r us is you get a I piece that. of paper i hated yeah. that as a kid because i'm like i don't know what front. any of this oh, yeah. is you know, like, I, if, unless I was like, oh, it's Mario World, I know what that is. But if it was a game that you didn't recognize, like if it wasn't a brand, and you're like, I don't understand what this game is. Like, yeah. how am I supposed to know what I want? Did you they know? have not, they had box art alone? Is that what it was? Uh, from my recollection, Toys R Us didn't. It just, just had a name, name and, a number and maybe a rating and the price, and then there's slip and go yeah. get it, you know? And you're just like, well, what the hell? Am I? You just grab all the slips but and be like, I would like to like see a, all of these. A, a console at the end with, like, tons mm-hmm. of demos on it. Sure, so sure. Yeah, there were, there were some playable kiosks. Um, yeah, what so anyway. There are no timetable on that, but we'll see when that shows yep. up. Um, cool they stuff. definitely want to do it, though. I know. I know. Whenever I go to Japan, I'm all looking at the retro games, yeah. trying to see what's there. Yeah, super potato. Uh, more release dates. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Uh, Nintendo just like two weeks ago said it was first Literally half 2013. Two weeks, yeah. yeah, they said it was first half 2013. We probably talked about it in the w- past week or two. And then yesterday they're like, oh, by the way, it's Q1. They made like, some really good headway in these two weeks. I know. Yeah, they're just like, oh wait, actually it's done. Uh, yeah. So you know, whatever. Um, I'm so like not wanting to play that game now. It's been delayed so much. I'm just like, I was interested when there's nothing else to play. To me, and I, I, it's probably development issues, I guess. But like, I was totally excited to see this thing come out like in Halloween. You know, near Halloween, yeah. that mm-hmm. was just totally yeah. made sense. Cool. Um, guessing well, some not slight like it's troubles. Spooky anyway. What's hilarious though? It's not me- the point, Audrey. <laughs> it's still, it's still. The Halloween-ish. point is that Rich likes Halloween, so lay off. I do. Him. Uh, I do. I was- 
Oh, I also sorry. like I also like Disneyland Halloween, and that's not scary at all either. See, mm-hmm. okay. look at it. He has a big fuzzy heart uh, under that <laughs> that hard exterior. I didn't, I didn't realize. I take Disneyland back Halloween. My comment about it being okay. It's not. What well, you should be Halloween. doing, Audrey, is making fun of him and challenging him to Mario Kart. <laughs> Yeah. It was a Fran and Bob. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're you're doing battle now, mode. Man. Oh, okay, cool. All right. You got anything else? Yeah, we got a few more. Um, oh, Rich. Devil Training, which is the successor to Brain Age overseas, yeah. uh, which has a cool name. What's it called? It has a cool name Devil in Japan. Training. Just yes. not Brain Age Devil Training. It's just Dr. Devil Kawashima training. with devil horns. Yeah, he's yeah. like a, he's an oni, and he's like challenging you to super hard puzzles or, you know, uh, a brain and uh, challenges. Like devil or demon anyway, in Japanese. Nintendo predictably made it a boring name over here, so it's called Brain Age. Concentration, concentration training. Uh, like what? Um, December third. Here, well, it's not like the exciting name is going to make that game any better. I just think devil I training is amazing. Originally, yeah. I have not Although, played them in a while. Though. I will say, I think if it's Satan training, if you cool. were to call it devil training here in the states, I would expect you to be like torturing people and setting people on fire, not actually solving math Jeez. puzzles. And you're like, Wait See, a minute. See, Audrey Rich does like stuff. <laughs> can you, can, can, can you imagine? It up just can you imagine devil like points. thinking this game is some cool <laughs> action game and you turn it on? It's like two plus two is four. You're like, what? Really? That sucks. Rich actually likes talking about killing off my favorite game characters. Oh yeah, which one did I say today? Layton was today. Oh yeah, I was like what if Layton dies at the end of the final yeah. Layton game? I, I think yeah, the, cool. the, well, the, <laughs> the prequel, prequel right? Sense. So it wouldn't matter. Yeah. The, the, Maybe becomes, there's two prequels. There's his twin a, and him. You find out he's a ghost. In That'd be good. That would be robot. amazing. Oh, oh, robot Layton. That's why he's so good at the puzzles. That's how they do things in the universe. There's always robots. Spoilers. I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, that's good. What were we talking? Oh yeah, Brain Age. Brain Age. Did they realize is that the brain age brain training train left the station like 10 years ago maybe they're Come trying on. to find a new one for the 3ds see what yeah. sticks <sighs> um game freaks uh, a lot of actually news has i know right game freak actually has a new uh 3ds game it's an e-shop game, game. game freaks is the developer by pokemon. Pokemon. pokemon yep yeah uh it's called harmo knight and it's uh, some sort of platformer rhythm combination mm-hmm. game. So, yeah, like battles. Cool. But All the great RPG makers got to make rhythm, rhythm games now. What what, yeah. what year is this? It's, it's so sad that my first thought was like, why aren't they working on Pokemon 3D? No, they're working on it. <laughs> so it's just the yeah, after them with funny. Pokemon. Uh, no, it's no, an it's original got, IP. Yeah, it's like an action game, but well, like you have to attack to the beat of the rhythm or something nice. like that. Yeah. I will say that I like the funny. idea that Nintendo's, you know, sort of like second subsidiary type uh, developers mm-hmm. are all kind of chiming in with their own little eShop games. I and mean, we had Intelligent Systems with Pushmo. Yeah, yeah, And now yeah. we got Game Freak. I mean, I would love to see all of them eventually get around to that and oh, make the yeah. eShop Th- really powerful. Those are the highlights of the eShop, honestly. Yeah. Which they gave up on the eShop. There's been nothing this Aww. month. This month has been, been pretty so, bad. Well, it's funny because last month was amazing. There are like two virtual console games every yeah. week. And Mario's Pie Cross. Lots of 3DS wear. And yeah. now there's nothing. Yeah, it's little barren little. landscape. Um, Audrey, tell us about Adventure Time on the 3DS with the its horribly cool. long subtitle. <laughs> Yeah, it's called Adventure Time. Hey, Ice King, why do you still are garbage? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Yeah, and I, I played it the other day. Wait, who develops it? A way forward. So that's important. Yeah, oh, which, yeah. Yeah. So it's actually, makers of Shantae Ris- Risky's Revenge. Yeah, Aliens, and it's really good. They do a lot of action work, but Aliens uh, Resurrection, and they also Mighty do, Puzzle, Mighty Flip Champs, Flip Mighty Champs, Flip Champs, Champs Mighty, Mighty, uh, Mighty Milky Way, Mighty Switch Force, and, Mighty Switch Force. Yeah, and alumni of Nintendo Voice Chat. I just dominated because Bob. Mark Bozon's Sorry. brother works for that company. Bozon does yeah. consult. They also yeah. do Contra Four. Exactly. But anyway, yeah, I played it the other day. Uh, it's based on the cartoon, which I actually had never seen until I knew I was going to the Wait, demo. So you never I, even saw the old, like, never watched the, the Adventure pilot? Time? Adventure, Adventure Time? No, I, I had never seen it at oh. all. Not, like, purposefully. I wasn't avoiding it. It's, it's like, just, made for audio. It, it's it never, weird. It didn't, I know. Once I saw it, like, a, a couple of friends from work finally, like, you were watching this. Is that I, why you got that tattoo? Yeah, that's a Jake tattoo now. No, but uh, it's actually really fun, and uh, the game is really cool. It's basically uh, just like I said in my title. It's Zelda Two crossed with Adventure Time, which sounds crazy, but Way Forward makes it work. So like you've got the overworld map, and you've got little dungeons and towns, and when you go into the dungeons or towns or battles, it goes into the little side-scrolling to, to segments. To be honest, if Way Forward, Great music too. If Way oh, Forward amazing is, MIDI music. If they're doing really any cool. sort of tribute to an old school game, like I'm on board. You know, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. Aliens well, was. Well, Zelda too, like yeah. it's unexpected because like yeah. that's sort of the black sheep of the. I, I mm-hmm. love that. And you always game. think like you could make a better version of that game too. Like it has such good pieces, yeah. they just didn't come oh. together perfectly. Yeah, no, but it's really cool. It's got it's got the Adventure Time humor. It's got the Zelda two mechanics, which have not been used enough. And mm-hmm. it, it seems I'm really excited for the game now. Actually, it was something that I just didn't even care about when I first heard about, just because right. I I didn't know what the 
cartoon was, Ridiculous. so why would I care? I, I will say this. But now I'm pretty excited about it. We should it. play I, that on Nintendo video chat. Oh, we, we should. I'm Absolutely. sure we will. Um, I've attempted to watch Adventure Time, and it makes no sense to me. <laughs> However, the thing is, is that now that I know it's made by Way Forward, and knowing their sort of like legacy of just old school 2D, mm-hmm. you know, that sort of stuff, um, now I want to play it, you know, and that's yeah, the thing. Exactly. I didn't see it when you did, but it, it's... I do not care whatsoever about Adventure Time, and I want to play this game. So yeah, that's exactly. Cool. Yeah. Um, okay. Last thing, uh, short and simple, and Audrey has a, a scheming so. thing about it. Oh wow, Fran! Oh, okay, also, keep about. cackling like a witch in the background. It's funny when you're like, "Oh, ye, ah, I know." Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> he's not Fran Toad anymore. Now he's Princess Fran. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sorry, I switched to Princess. Oh, princess yeah. Fran. Shocking. Truth. Shocking. Oh, uh, s- Harvest Moon. Yes, okay. I can't remember the subtitle. It's on 3DS. No, release uh, date, November 6th. New beginning, 6th. I think. Yeah. Right, right. Somehow, even though it looks very similar to the other ones. Uh, <laughs> I hear that as pre-order cows. Tell us about the cows and okay. the yaks. So people have been wanting to know about my scheme to get both the cow and the yak. So the thing is that if you pre-order... <laughs> so horrible. No, this is the big news. This is horrible If you her. pre-order the game at GameStop or the online store, you get a yak, right? But there's also a special edition where you get this big old squishy 12-inch cow. And you have to order that through... You have to order that through the Nazi store. Store. Right. So, if you want to get both, and you know you do, what you do is you pre-order both of them, and then you just return the one you got at GameStop Isn't and that keep horrible? the pre-order. No, I have done it. And I it works. I, you even people worse that you've done it before. <laughs> participate in illegal activity. Because you, 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 when you it's return, not illegal. No, when you return the game, you don't have to return the pre-order bonus. Yeah, that's their uh, fault. That's what I do for games. I, I don't think it's really the scheme. Though. I think everybody knows about exactly, that. Exactly, Fran. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's what I do for games. We just learned that Audrey is completely dishonest. It's fine. You're a horrible person. Tell that that's to my, exactly what I said. Tell that to my <laughs> Nukitel Mario keychain from 3D Land. Yeah, yeah. she pre-orders yeah. 3D Land and then just returns Audrey's it. Audrey's like going around the country <laughs> grifting people <laughs> over yeah. pre-order bonuses. Like, this is your double life, it's isn't it? She's a lot she like told me about this other regard. thing where she t- she buys peanut butter and then eats the whole bottom part out of it and then like like puts what? puts the rest of it. She like puts like oh, a piece man. of paper down what? there and stuffs You're, it what and returns it. You're like the person that like goes into the... I eat almond butter anyway. You're like the person in the grocery store that goes, opens up the cereal box, eats all the cereal I'm out of it, then the seals it back up and puts it on the shelf. Probably a better analogy for Richard George. <laughs> I am not hurting anyone with this. I'm just helping me. What about me. the little girl that wants her cow? She should have pre-ordered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, can I move on to reader mail? Anyway, that, you're and welcome. That, and that is all the news in the world ever like, for the rest of like the time. Like you're not yeah, There's a lot, big... actually, surprisingly. Like but, you're not going to get the cow and yak for your girlfriend now. This is, well, no, you're she's going to get... I don't have to get it for her. She's going to get it herself because... With my scheme. She will have... Yes, probably. Um, <laughs> what's weird about covering Nintendo stuff is some weeks we come in here and we're like, what are we going to talk about? Yeah. And then literally Last week. half of this news showed up yesterday and today. Yeah. yeah. And, and I was like writing it all down. I'm like, uh. Well, it's funny. Like, I was trying to A lot I got on the top of the building at Nintendo. And oh, that was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Audrey, is this your favorite I level? should have an update on that. Nintendo Direct, oh, that's yeah, where a lot like of this news level. came from. And yeah, you're like you're saying, he was in an insane asylum one day <laughs> and he was like in the soundproof room one day and the, and the recording studio. All this stuff is so bizarre. And take like, the president of Nintendo and just throw them in the corner usually. This time they're just like, stand on the roof well, at the best, night. Yeah, and it's at night, and then it behind him is this like, mountain that's seemingly on fire with some <laughs> Japanese character, and I don't know what it says, but presumably it says, like, Iwata is almighty or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, bet it it is, is, I bet it says the industrial city. I, I, who knows? Yeah. Like, oh, like, we got it, we got that yeah. sign over in South New South City. Yeah. 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 God. Um, anyway, mail call time. Mail call. Mail call. Mail call. call. Dude, we should have sound effects. Yeah. We're very, we're very uh, honored to have. Uh, the bell went. Two hundred messages in our inbox right now. It is this. absolutely crammed. Uh, Audrey's been getting back to some people. We haven't done mail call in a while, so let's do Read it. Read some questions. This is from Leo. Hey NBC, quick question. I've been playing Mario Kart Seven on my newly acquired 3DS XL, for which I sold my PS3 to sell, help offset nice. the cost. Cost. <laughs> wow. No regrets. You uh, go. And I love the SNES Rainbow Road level. I was born in 1990. My first experience with Mario Kart was on the Nintendo 64. I love the way the track managed to capture retro 16-bit feel while still looking outstanding on the 3D screen. My question, any levels you feel are handled particularly well in the Mario Kart series? Which is our... Oh, oh, I oh, went through this that. earlier. Yeah, yeah. I kind of did that one. All right. Uh, refer to but earlier we didn't hear in the episode. Friends. Sorry, I'm winning as Toad Leo. here. I can't answer this. What's your favorite, favorite Mario Fa- Kart level? Go. Of course. Of every Mario Kart? All yeah. of them. I don't know. I can't answer that right now. All right. Fail. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Moving along. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I have better ones now. Okay. Dear, dearest NVC. I'm too if, indecisive. That's why. 
Dearest NVC, if the frag dolls manage to get their hands on debug units, oh. we units, uh, we you units we you. today, right, right, right. We you um, units. this we must mean IGN has some debug no, units too, right? Don't stupid. hold that on us, Alfred. This, this is stupid. So this All is right. a rumor, Rich. Here's Rich the thing. is winking no. right now. Right, Myth Al- busting. <laughs> yeah. Alfred, here's the thing. You cannot believe everything you read on the internet. Not that that picture is not legit, but I here's do. the problem. At PAX, they're setting up units to play Wii U games mm-hmm. at different booths such as Ubisoft such as Nintendo's own booth there that's where it's coming from I don't know what the story is like why someone decided to take that picture they're kind of stupid for implying something I mean it's obviously just a joke they're setting up and they're getting this thing ready yeah, a fragdoll but- tweeted Hey, thanks, Nintendo, for the awesome swag. And then it's like yeah. a picture of her unpacking. They're just being black. sarcastic. They're hey, just, black Wii U. They're just yeah, goofing they're around. Awesome. I mean, here's the thing, too, is like uh, IGN will get, if, you know, if whenever these debug, you know, we'll units be show up, the first in line. we will get the first ones. The frag dolls are not a, a press outlet. They are representatives of <sighs> Ubisoft. We have frag dolls that work for IGN, so we're going to be okay. <laughs> well, what? sort of. It's true. We do. Has that been announced? We're, we're no, hiring someone new who's, who It'll comes way at On Monday. Oh. Sneak peek, everybody. Yeah. Okay, then. Right. <laughs> I don't even know what that's about. They don't tell us so, these uh, things. All the things that we're going to have debugs through her. Yes. That's all you're saying. No, that's, that's not excellent. true. That's not true. Um, but yeah, so I mean, like that's the thing is like, don't believe everything you read out there. I've oh, had to do zone. some bizarro debu- uh, debunking lately, and that's yeah. amongst them. Debugging. So. so you do have a debug unit. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. There's a dramatic squirrel. You that's know true. somebody's just going to click on that part of the podcast and news that or confirm Should. it or something. It's terrible. Put right. the yeah. You heard it here first. Go Nintendo. Moving yeah. along. Hey, NBC crew, with the announcement of the sixth Professor Layton game in Japan and the fifth one already on its way, where should I start in the series? I haven't played any of them before, and I don't think I could play all of them. Why and not? since I have New Super Mario Bros. So 2 and Kid Icarus to play. <laughs> Why don't you just oh, yeah. play that through? from... Wait, 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 wait. Jackson he has, Anderson. He has Zelda and Kid Icarus to play? Yeah. So play those. No, no, no. He has Kid Icarus and New Super Mario Bros. Oh, uh, well, it, we'll play those. What's his name? No, he wants to play a Layton game before he... So yeah. If you want to wanna jump in with Layton, but you don't have time to one. read all of them, yeah. Well, no, play Last Spectre because the game... I disagree. No, no, I say that because the game Prequels. that's coming out in October that he's looking forward to is the sequel to okay. Last Spectre. Let me Spectre. posit to you the- that the story is stupid and it doesn't matter... <laughs> In the later games, so it won't matter if he continues into the story. Last Spectre has story developments that matter. That's th- okay. I could go into spoilers and complain about this, but I'm not going to. <laughs> but no, I think that I think that the Denouement in the first game no, it, is uh, awesome. Oh, slow. And I think in the other ones, mm-hmm. it's not as good. Well, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't. The first entire, one's the best It really doesn't entirely matter how you start, but exactly. I would recommend That's true too. I would recommend starting with Last Spectre if you're leading. And I'd in, recommend playing if you're leading into Mask Village. of Miracle, and then if you there, there's going to be a long time before they localize the sixth one, so then you can go back and play Curious Village. Right around Diagonal, when they okay, okay, okay I got that. you. Right around when they announce the 4DS is when we'll get that other late. <laughs> Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. One time, I played Professor Layton in a phone booth uh, down in Union Square. That sounds cool. It was like part of this like this Nintendo promotion. <laughs> Sorry about that. And oh, I want to share. I remember that. I couldn't That's remember amazing. that. Yeah. All right. Next question from Victor. Hello, Nintendo voice chat or video, whatever you call yourselves nowadays. I, Luigi762, have been listening to NBC for several years now, but it's my first time writing. I'm a huge fan of the Zelda series. AKA, played every single game for every system, and recently I've had this weird urge to make a game for myself. I'm not going to get into specifics, but I am inspired to finish the unfinished trilogy of the GBC Game Boy Color era. Which comes to my question, would I get in any legal trouble for using sprites and basically everything else from the Game Boy Color games (laughs) since it's so old? Yes. Mainly because I want it to feel authentic. Thank you very much, and don't be... Don't be nice to any of your fellow NVC members. Um, in fact, easy. smash right. your male siblings in a super way, melee all day, and have a brawl. Uh, you would wow, you would get well legal written, trouble. Though. Nintendo would stop you. Especially if you sold it. I would go if ahead and say it, that you would yeah. only get in trouble if you sold it. And if you sold you probably it, yeah. wouldn't get in trouble if you put it on the App Store because there's tons of Nintendo. If you, if you, if you you're not going to get in trouble. Though. No lawyer is going to come after a guy if you that's sell making it. a if fan game. If you sell it, they will come after you. Are you giving this guy legal advice? No. No. We're not getting him. Just to be clear. No. Our If you want to make a fan-made game, everybody does that. Right. Like yeah, but you, technically online, using anyone else's IP and yeah. profiting in any way, shape, or form yeah. is illegal. Yeah. Using anybody so. else's IP creation, assets, code, can lead to anything. all kinds designs. of bad things for yeah. you. So, so I would be yeah, don't, would, <laughs> just because you see other people doing it at the point, it doesn't mean I would it's be okay. very smart about how you proceed with that plan. That's just yeah. put it that don't way. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, absolutely yeah. don't. Intend Moving along, maybe go to Kyoto and walk up to Nintendo headquarters, knock on the door, and say you'd like to make the next Zelda game. They will not let you. 
you to the doors, there's a guy at the gate that stops you. And Iwata's on the roof yelling. I got in. <laughs> I made it into the front desk. All right, final question. Have you really? Yeah. It's uh, like a hospital me, they didn't in there. Start, they didn't stop you at the gate. Like, because I hear now there's like a dude at the mm. gate who will take yeah. photos with people and stuff like that. It's not like a video that. game, Rich. But, uh, I like to think you. it's like East and West Berlin around. over there, apparently. Can you play Ocarina of Time? Uh, yeah, like, legitimately. Around. I hear yeah. there's these air ducts, right? By the way, it's, yeah. it's if you ever try to go to Nintendo in Kyoto, it's completely disappointing because... They will not let you in as press or otherwise. The hell's on fire. I mean, it's cool if you're already in Kyoto to run by it, but like even if you get inside, it's a marble. Gi- it's just a giant marble. Um, Wait, interior. No, so it's like one the Mad desk. Magazine yeah, thing. Now, Stop breaking now, it. So, yeah, Fran, you now need to now tell them that it's not really Mickey Mouse at Disney World. Uh, Fran, friend. you need to actually See, tell I'm this talking story. Talking, I'm losing. No, I don't care okay. about you losing. You oh, need man. to tell this story so about good. getting into the lobby. Yeah, like, that's, so that was it. I got in the front door, and this this is what I was describing. The first interior, right, is yeah. mm-hmm. a huge marble gray lobby. Did, but, I mean, did you just woman... stand there, or, like, did no, no. somebody stop so you? So it's me, me and uh, Brennan, who used to work for us, and we were on IGN Insider, and we wanted to... We were doing, like, a touring Japan piece. Were you were you there for TGS or something? Yeah, or, okay. and we did an additional piece. We wanted to go, like, right. behind the scenes and show you a bunch of stuff. But uh, right. anyway, we stop in with a camera, <laughs> and it's me, and I'm like, uh... Oh no, Sumo Zen. <laughs> so, no, I'm joking. I, I did not try to speak horrible Japanese, but I was like, ah, oh, sorry, you know, we're with the press, and I show her my business card, and she's like, hold on. And I think she called, and the I don't cops. think there was anyone on the other line. <laughs> yeah, acted like she it. called. <laughs> and they're like, I'm sorry, you know, nobody can come down. Like, nobody could come out and talk to us, as I recall. And they just said, well, it's okay to. They actually let us shoot the lobby. Wow. Um, and I've been mad at Brennan ever since because he I think he lost it. And no. Been, oh. Yeah. I was about to tell you. Let's put that up. Lame. I've been For years, I've been trying to locate it. Why it does, might be in our tape stock somewhere. Fran, explain this. Why does every cool video we shoot get lost into the ether This one was different. World. Like, we were running around Japan. We went actually down to Capcom um, at that time. We did a special behind the scenes of Resident Evil 4. Awesome. That was why we were there. So we yeah. only stopped in Kyoto for like an hour and a half. Yeah. And yeah. there was this, um, there was a, a monsoon coming. Um, <laughs> that's her. Cane, for those of you on the, this side of the world, and we yeah, had we, we caught the that. last train to like get out of there, and the whole thing was hectic. Wow. But I still I never forgive him. That's amazing. I know I, it might be in a tape drawer somewhere. You didn't have to fire him. Though. I don't that's know. If, <laughs> I don't know if I've been on an NBC oh, no. since I've been doing all my traveling. But that's actually one of the places I was was Capcom HQ up yeah. in the development lab in Osaka, for right? RE6. Yeah. So um, as well as Hawaii for Pokemon and. Canada for some stuff and um, life is hard. LA, no, Rich. And well, I've got yeah. I've got a couple more long trips coming up, including New York City for the uh, yep. Wii U launch. September event. what again? Thirteen. Thirteenth. Don't worry, man. Uh, Rich, I'll cover Pokemon for you next. You week. know, I don't want to yeah. extend this too much, but Rich, you weren't here right when we were discussing what we thought would be there. But oh, well, I, what do you want to know? What's no, there? just since, might as well hear your, your side of the story because well, I mean, so you went to the 3DS preview event and it's right. probably going to be like that, right? Uh, it will be like that. So it's yeah. um, it's going to be a press conference uh, with Reggie. Um, yes. That will probably last. I don't know. He 30. loves Audrey and me. Yeah, you should have sent um, us. It'll last, you know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour while Audrey's coming with yeah, me. Yeah, I'm going. I'm dragging you her. Should have sent me. Um, <laughs> That you can come okay, hold okay. a camera <laughs> I need a camera person um, okay so uh, and then there's going to be demos we don't know mm-hmm. exactly what but I mean you know the usual suspects are probably updated builds from what yeah. we saw at E3 mm-hmm. um, we'll Batman, be there P100. we'll be able to we'll be able to film and uh, I would not be surprised if they actually and I know that people are going to get upset at this I would not be surprised if they actually do not reveal a firm launch day lineup um, with 3DS, with 3DS, they did not do that. They They're actually, still a little, yeah, they so unsure. With 3DS, they unveiled, uh, they unveiled the day, the price. They revealed that all the online functionality wasn't going to be there, which was a weird, awkward Brace moment. Yourself, Sam. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going to hear Sam from across <laughs> the country be like, "No, no! Um, Sam Ray." And then they had all these demos, but and they said that this was an indication of I, I don't remember the exact terminology, but launch window, basically mm-hmm. what they said at E3 Sam's for Wii. Sam's getting angry. <laughs> yeah. But they didn't announce the, the precise games until later in a press release. So for 3ds, um, yeah, and then like we're like E3 this year, and we went they waited a month and they did a Japanese conference oh, that had even more that long. It was two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, so. And after me, all the gotcha news. after Miyamoto told me there were no further 3ds revisions coming, and then two weeks later they're like, <laughs> 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 and a new Mario game. Yeah, yeah. Well, it turns out uh, well, Iwata stepped into the local high school gym and has lots of announcements to make. Exactly. Can I do the last question? Yeah, we got one more. Guys, this is epic. So epic. I just have to interrupt. You got, if you, what are you if doing you were to watching, Toad? If you were watching, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, so I wasn't even playing in the beginning. And here we are. 
Yeah, look, good. look how so he proud of myself. You, Bob. Ranked. So, oh, yeah, so. <laughs> that was epic. Well, final question. Them. Final question. Hello, NVCers. Just wanted to say that although I have not read Nintendo Power for a long time, I still carry a miniature photocopy of the oh. Super Mario Card Game Cheat in my wallet. It was oh, published in some Nintendo Power in the 80s. I remember that. That it was actually in the Mario 3 strategy go I don't know the way. Um, <laughs> in the 80s, and it showed how to get all the bonuses in the card house nice. within the Super Mario 3 yeah. game. I, I have had it behind my driver's license in case yeah. I need it. <laughs> I will miss you need it. Power. You never know. Thanks for being a fun and informative podcast. Your fan and friend, Zenbone and Clearwater. So Florida. I actually didn't get a chance to do the Nintendo Power right. uh, stuff with you guys. Country. But what's what's funny is that, or not funny, but sad or whatever. I don't know what the word would be. But it's um, I've got stacks of the old Nintendo Powers, like from the 80s and 90s be it right next to my desk. Are those yours? Um, got, yeah, those are all mine. Do you have the fun clubs? I do not. I do. I do somewhere but have those the fun But those are clubs. yours? You had those in those your Those are kid? all mine. I didn't know you did fun well, clubs. Well, so what happened was my grandmother had all the old Nintendo powers too, and so... What? Yeah, yeah, His yeah. His whole family's a gamer. Yeah, 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 gamers. yeah. It's but weird. When, but when she, what, did, what games did your grandmother play? Uh, she and I played Mar- Super Mario Brothers 3 all the time. <laughs> Every time <laughs> I went over. And she subscribed to Nintendo Power? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I the sound of my head exploding. Uh, no, when she died, though, I got all the magazines, though. So I have that. That's all, by your desk, I think. All right? of, yeah, they're all my there. My grandparents so. still don't understand what a video game is. <laughs> when my grandfather died, all do. I got was a bunch of old Playboys. <laughs> Whoa. So you, your family's way cooler. <laughs> yeah, it is, I know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have most of the old Nintendo powers probably from about number one through probably about 50 actually I don't I don't think I have more than that I have a few of the strategy guides I have all that shit too um yeah boom so. <laughs> I just don't I need the, those the fun club issues those are so I, cool I those think I have them I'm pretty sure I do I, I don't you do because I just um, looked through a bunch of them <laughs> okay there you go then um I think the the one interesting thing though is that I used to just look at like say the strategy guides that had these hand drawn maps of all the oh, yeah. like like Ninja Gaiden 2 mm-hmm. um I don't know if I ever owned Ninja Gaiden 2, but I had that strategy guide, and I looked at it all the time, that's, and I was like, getting oh, the so Final cool. Fantasy guide yeah. sold me on getting Final Fantasy, right. oh, and, nice. and then like it was like the best strategy guide. So it was the Mario 3 one. Yeah, they, and those like those you took uh, for the Mario 3 and all the Mega Man stuff. They'd always like take Polaroids, right, and then they tape them together, Lay them all out. Yeah. yeah, and that's how they did their walkthroughs, and so they, they look beautiful. Yeah, and they look great. But you can always see like Mega Man jumping in every single shot. <laughs> yep, they, yep, yep. You know, and in the power meter, they just tape them together. The stuff I always love seeing is um, the old like Nintendo sketches that Miyamoto and his crew did for something oh, like yeah. Mario 3 where they like hand draw this yeah, stuff out on yeah. graph the paper. fact that Nintendo of America yeah. got that stuff then is amazing because mm-hmm. there's no way they could get that now no mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I, I, what, in the vault. I, I got so angry though when they did that Mario 25th anniversary set it comes with that little booklet and mm-hmm. they have just like brief shots of those things yeah. I'm like no just Scan give me them. 100 pages of yeah. that I don't care about <laughs> exactly. anything else don't tell yeah, me about all this yeah have Miyamoto comment on each one and be like this yes. is what I was oh, doing here it's so interesting like there's such such an amazing history there. I bet you you could fill up hundreds of hours of all the cool stories of the making mm-hmm. of of all, so many of these games. Oh, and yeah. what I love is that nowadays, um, every now and then, someone you know, translators over in Japan or here or whatever, will stumble pro- across some old like early 1990s Japanese interview mm-hmm. with those, some of the guys from there. Yeah. And you're just reading this stuff and you're like, how did this yeah. ever happen? Like how. These stories are amazing, but just yeah. nobody thought about it well, back so then. Some of these games came out two decades ago, and we're still learning new things about them, yeah. about their development and stuff. It's incredible. Yeah, cool. Well, if you would like to ask a question, you can write us at nvc at ign.com. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'd love to hear your questions. We'll try to fit the segment into more podcasts. Cause I really like doing it. Yeah. Uh, man, our inbox is just crammed. Send so thank us. you for watching. I know there's a lot more people listening and watching now that, that we're doing this on video and yeah. YouTube. Send so us questions, also to to uh, suggestions, especially if you know of certain anniversaries of games that you're, you'd love to see a game return, yeah. and stuff like that. Until we have lots of new games to play, we're going to try to get <laughs> hit anniversaries. And, mm-hmm. and you know, happy birthday, Mario Kart. It's pretty amazing yeah. that that yeah. happened uh, You know, woo, right now, yeah, 20 we'll, years ago. We'll try and bring you some newer stuff, although it's a little quiet. But even on the 3DS front until about October. Yeah, a lot of stuff's coming out in October, so we'll try and yeah. try and do something. Finally, I'd like to go around and give everybody our Twitter handles to follow us on Twitter because oh, sure, we sure. all use it like crazy. So Fran? At Fran Mirabella, F-R-A-N-M-I-R-A-B-E-L-L-A. It should be Fran Cube. I know, I know. <laughs> or FM3 is my arcade You can handle. probably look up Fran Mirabella's Twitter or all of our names Twitter. for yeah, Swift, yeah. But go ahead, uh, I'm Game on Aminka, A-M-I-N-K-A. Bob, you got a Twitter handle? Uh, just Bob Feckety. Uh, that's F-E-K-E-T-E. Mm-hmm. Cool. The silent Bob, that's okay. <laughs> and, uh, but thanks Bob. for playing. I just want to say thanks for being here and playing, oh, Bob. Sure. We, we always need yeah. somebody to kind of be playing the yeah, game because it's, it's really, really hard, hard to play and talk. Yeah. So. Yeah. I didn't have any Bob. trouble. Game well, Bob. Game Bob. Love and uh, Rich, you are? Rich IGN. Simple. And I'm Samuel underscore IGN. 
All right. So thanks for cool. listening. This is a really fun podcast, and uh, we'll be back next time with probably another retro game, but we'll see. Just suggest something to us. And as usual, we're going to let Bob play us out for a little bit. Thanks, everyone. Thank Bye, you. Kiplings. Thank you.